Hi, welcome to another Tenergy product overview video. Today we'll be going over the Wi-Fi LED light bulb, how to set it up, and some common issues our users face when setting it up. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe for our new videos every week. These Wi-Fi LED bulbs come in four pack, two pack, and single pack. And they're all available on Amazon. You can find a link in our description if you're interested in buying them. Let's get inside and see what, how it's packed. Packaging wise, it's pretty simple. You're gonna find two cardboard pieces, one on the top and one on the bottom to hold all the light bulbs in place. Uh, once you remove the top piece, jiggle it out a bit to loosen it from the bulbs. That will free the bulbs, but there's also one on the bottom. And in between them, you'll find an installation manual to help you walk you through the setup process. So here's what they look like. Some great features about these Wi-Fi LED bulbs is that they consume nine watts of power, but provide enough light as a 60 watt incandescent light bulb, which is an 85% energy savings when you replace all your lights in the house. Another great thing is they're Wi-Fi bulbs. So they connect to your Wi-Fi router and you can control them via your smartphone, a Google Home or an Amazon Echo. A third thing that's really great about them is you can also change between any shades of white, between cool or warm, or any color on the rainbow. And we'll get into that in a bit. Let's go over how to set up these lights together. First, you take them out of the box, of course. These are E26 medium base light bulbs. Make sure your fixtures or lamps are the same size. Um, once they are, you can screw it right on. Next thing you want to do is download the Tuya app. You can find it on Android and Apple iOS. So once that's done downloading and installing on your app, you're going to have to create an account if you want to connect it to smart devices like Amazon Alexa's or Google Assistant. So let me sign into my account here. All right, so once you've signed in, created an account, now what you'll need to do is turn on your flash, or your light bulb, that was a little bit right. Your light bulb should blink like this, kind of like a fading in and out. That's letting you know it's in pairing mode. Uh, on the app, you'll tap on the add device button and it should actually automatically already found your light bulb. In case it doesn't, you can tap the auto scan button at the top. I'm gonna to go to add here. You're gonna to wanna to punch in your password for your Wi-Fi network. Be sure you're connecting to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. If you have a smart, smarter home with a mesh Wi-Fi network, it's gonna automatically choose the best network for your device. So you might need to go a little bit further from the router so that it goes into the 2.4 gigahertz. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to install connect and install it, install. Here, light's gone solid, we're good, yeah. Usually, if you have a problem here, it'll take a couple of minutes to be complete. So if it's taking like two to three minutes, something's gone wrong, I would suggest restarting it over, reset the light bulb, and then try it again on the app. Uh, once it's been paired together, this is your chance to rename the light bulb so you know which room the light bulb's in, and that way your smart assistant can know which lights to change. Now that the light bulb is paired to the app, you can adjust the light color or set of schedules if you want. To do that, you'll just tap on the light you want to edit. And now you'll see a screen that shows like light blue to orange center with a circle. Uh, you can click around the dot and that will change it from warm to cold. You can also swipe left and this will change it to the RGB mode. And as I mentioned earlier, any color of the rainbow, whatever suits your needs, whatever flavor you like, you can set it to that color. Um, and you can also control how bright or dim the light is by scrolling left and right at the top. Similar for the white light color, 
you can make it either cooler, warmer, and control how bright or dim you want the Wi-Fi bulb to be. This is also where you can set up schedules. For instance, if you have a regular schedule at home that you want your lights on and off at, you'll just tap on the more square on the bottom right. And there's you're going to see a pop-up that says plan, schedule, or rhythms. If you tap on schedule, you can add specific schedules, have it turn on when you wake up in the morning, or have it turn on when the sun goes down, and turn off when you go to bed. There's also a scene uh, button right next to the dimmer, and this is just automatic suggested color temperatures and lights for specific settings. For instance, if you're night, you probably prefer a more warmer color so you can go, go to bed and relax. If you're reading or working, you probably want a brighter light that's colder so that you're more focused. And of course, there's always colorful in case you're having a party and wanna change up the lights. All right, so let's pair our LED Wi-Fi light bulb with a smart assistant like an Amazon Echo. So to do that, you'll go into the app on the bottom right where it says me, you'll tap on that. And then at the top, you're gonna to see third-party services. For our purposes, we're gonna connect it with an Amazon Alexa. So I'm gonna tap on Alexa. Hopefully that didn't trigger your Alexa, sorry guys. Um, and then it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Amazon account. And then once you put in your account information and tap link, they're gonna to connect to each other. All right. Now you should be able to say, Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. And there you go. <laughs> this is the same process if you wanna connect it to a Google Home as well. Um, just tap on the Google Assistant and sign in with your Google account, and then you should be good to go. Let's go over some commonly asked questions we've received so far. The first question we see a lot is, I've set up the lights wrong and it isn't blink anymore. How can I reset it and start over? To do that, you'll wanna turn on your lights on and off four times just to be safe. That's on, off, on, off, on, off, and on, off. Uh, make sure you're counting that it's, it turns on about at least three times. On the last time you turn it on and off, it should start blinking um, to show that it's ready to be paired. A second question we get a lot is, I keep getting device installation timeout. What is wrong? So what we've seen is that if you're getting device installation timeout a lot, you're probably not close enough to your router. You're too far away and the signal's a little bit weak. Um, if you're already on the 2.4 gigahertz network, then feel free to move the light closer just for the installation process. And once it's connected and paired to your app, you can put it into the room that you want the light to be in. How can I connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi? I can't find it. Can I connect to a wi 5 gigs Wi-Fi instead? Unfortunately, we can't. So the bulb only works on 2.4 gigahertz right now. If you have a mesh Wi-Fi network, move away because those signal further away from the mesh router will be defaulted to 2.4. And if you have a traditional router that puts out two different networks, just connect to the 2.4 and move yourself closer to the router. We'll also have some links in the description box that are great resources in explaining why that works like that. Please feel free to check it out. Another question we get a lot is, does my phone have to be constantly connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to control the bulb? No. So for the setup process, you need the 2.4 gigahertz, but once you've done set connecting the Wi-Fi bulb to the app, you can switch back to your normal 5G gigahertz Wi-Fi network, and you should be able to control it perfectly fine. Another question we get is, can I turn it off and on when I'm not home? Absolutely. This is one of the great things about the Wi-Fi LED light bulb, you can control remotely anywhere as long as you have your phone or if you're near your smart assistant, just ask your smart assistant to control the light bulb for you. 
The last question we get is, can I install more than one LED Wi-Fi light bulb in the same house? Yes, that's another great feature about these bulbs. You can install multiple bulbs. Uh, let me show you with another lamp here. This one already has the LED bulb inside. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to quickly add in another bulb. If you ha want to do this from the beginning, you can turn them all on. So same thing as what I did before, you're gonna to wanna to turn it on. Uh, make sure it's flashing to let you know that it's ready to be paired. Tap to add it in. And again, you're gonna, it's gonna ask for your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. As I mentioned before, it should take about a minute. If it's taking longer than that, you're probably running into some issue. I would suggest resetting the light bulb and trying to pair them again. Um, not right now, Alexa. <laughs> and I'm gonna name this one my second lamp. And now once you go back to the home screen of your two app, you should see two LED bulbs instead of one. And now you can control both through your app. It's easy as that. And as I mentioned, most of the problem comes when you're trying to pair it. If you're having issues connected, make sure your phone and your router is right next to each other with a lamp for the installation process, and then you can move the LED bulb to whichever room or location you want to keep it in. We hope you find the content useful and helpful in setting up your Wi-Fi LED light bulbs. If you still have more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Um, if you're interested in getting some, we'll have a link in our description box for you to check out. And we'll see you next time.